Oh my goddess, I am so glad that we're on this boat because yo, in there, it's crazy. The grid is dense. Last night I came out and laid under the stars on this flower of life with the eye horse. One of the things that I got from laying underneath the stars last night was I have so much, not to say I have so much wisdom, but you know, that is what witch means. But I read so much and I research so much and I know so many things. I have this whole thing about interpreting things based on the sphere of knowledge that I already possess. And last night when I was under the stars, I think it must have been Mars, looked like the red planet, was speaking to me. And I don't have service, so I don't have my star app to like confirm things like that. But it was speaking to me and it was like, the only thing that you need to do here is actually just silence your mind. Because a lot of the time, I'm sure that we all experience this, like, you know, I'll have like a song running through my head or like have something, some story, some like distraction, some like, Dee, 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 running through my mind. Big scarab just flew by. That's a good sign. That's super magical. But even that, like, because I think that I know what that means, instead of like receiving what it means in this moment and being silent, I'm like telling myself the story of like, oh, well, it means this. So that was the message that I got that I'm going to be really practicing for the next little bit of time here is like being more in silence in order to receive new wisdom or like a larger perspective or a different perception of what's happening and what's going on here so that then I can learn new things by just receiving and downloading as opposed to creating a story or a meaning or an interpretation based on something that I already know. So silence is the focus for my mind and you know we need to meditate and take lots of moments and it's also like requires massive discipline so that's what I'm gonna be focusing on. And so there's this scene on the side of the temple here that is said to be this typical scene where the king is offering the enemies of Egypt to the gods and he's like killing all of them. But one of the codes that I received yesterday is that one of the 360 senses that the Egyptians believed we originally all possessed is to be able to read and interpret the hieroglyphs without actually needing to know the language. And so as soon as I came here, I see this completely differently. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I see. It's said to be this guy killing all of these people to honor the gods. But what I see is that that is not a weapon. That is a rattle. And so he's actually like banging them like a drum, which is why they're reverberating all out like this, that there's many people. And he's actually pulling the weapons out of their minds, pulling the darkness out of their minds. And so, He's offering them to the gods. And this is one of the feathers of Ma'at, which is the feather of truth. And when the Egyptians would die, they would be weighed against this feather. Their heart would be weighed against this feather. And so this to me is like, this guy is like offering these people the awakening, like taking their, their darkness, their pain, like their negative beliefs out of their mind and like banging into them, like rattling into them the truth and like the awakening. And that's why they're all smiling. I mean, if you look at their faces, they're smiling. They look joyful. They're bowing to the gods. It's like they've been welcomed into Egypt. And so it just seems totally different to me. And this is why he's holding this feather of truth. So like, let them all be weighed by the lightness of their heart. And then you pull out the ax, pull out the arrows from their minds because you lift that from their minds. Like this original person who's like the, being rippled out, you pull it from the minds of one, then like the minds of many will transform. It's so wild because really like all these stories have just been transformed and made into something different. And it's the same as like St. Patrick and everything that I talked about in my show and in, in making modern magic in Ireland, like these stories have all been changed for millennia in order to like convince us of violence when actually like he's not, that's not a weapon. Like he's literally holding a rattle. That's a rattle, okay? He's holding a rattle. It's not a weapon. So it's fascinating. And yeah, I'm starting to be able to like really interpret these hard lessons. It feels very good. Even though there's all these temples and all these places where like it used to be so polytheistic and so fucking magical. The Nile River Valley is like, half a mile, some, in some places it's wider than in others, but there is so little green here. It's a fucking desert, literally and figuratively. And the fact that they would cut down all of the trees and all of the greenery in order to just like build that shit right on the side of the river when it's the only place where there's 
anything lush or anything alive at all is so mind-boggling to me. They would cut down the only trees that there are to just have this like dry, dusty city with no plants and nothing alive anyways is just like such a further representation of how this like empire has really fallen and just become something completely different. It's pretty tragic, very heartbreaking. Such wild terrain. I'm so glad we're on this boat. <laughs> like, I'd feel so dry and dusty if we weren't on this beautiful, beautiful boat. It's so gorgeous. This, and there's a little sister boat over there. We're complete with our temples today, so that means I get to put on a moon mask. Finally, gotta get these wrinkles out, you know what I'm saying? And she's not gonna do any poisonous Botox. So, I'm gonna have a nice little meditative afternoon. It's so weird that you're not gonna see any of these videos until I'm already back and have my computer and get to edit them, but that's where I am right now. So, see you guys soon. Hey,